Okay. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Everybody, today I want to talk about five things that every homestead needs, and here they are. Having a homestead can mean a lot of different things, but I'm going to share with you the five things that every homestead must have. Number one, this is the most important, and of course, it is your own land, and of course, have a house in it or something to live in. This means a property that you own, not have to pay taxes on, or you don't have rent or mortgage on, but an actual property that you own, preferably one without taxes. If you have the means, there are several places around the world where you can actually buy land that would be tax-free, or they call it freehold. Some countries that you might think about would be Fiji or Cook Islands, or maybe you like Europe area, you can go to Monaco or Malta, or you can even try Georgia, which is really good, it has lots of great incentives that are tax-free. You can also go to Cayman Islands. You can go to Daminissa. And also in Africa, they have a little area called Seychelles. There's a few more on this, just a little bit list, but if you're interested, you can go ahead and look around all over Google, internet. There's tons of places, and you can find even more than this that I've mentioned that are tax-free or freehold lands that you can actually own that you'll never have to pay another payment on ever. So that is the ideal homestead property that you actually can own and do stuff on without people telling you what to do or having to get a permit to build on it and etc. So if you can try for that, go for it. If you cannot and you do not have the means to be that adventurous, then the second best option is to own your land, which means you don't have any mortgage, but of course you still have to pay your taxes. Having less bills and dependence on someone else is one of the main goals of a homestead. Of course, your property can be as little or big as you want it to be, so when you're picking a property, make sure you have in mind what you want to do with your property. Maybe you just want to have some chickens, but later you decide maybe you should have had some cows too, but you only have one acre, so there's no way. So if you're thinking about it, make sure you plan ahead all the possibilities as much as you can. And before you buy, always buy a little bit more, just in case for those changes that might come in the future. Okay, number two, you need to have your own water. This means having your own well, and there's tons of advantages to having your own water. Of course, one is you don't have a water bill. But another advantage is you know more about what's in your water and where it's coming from. Of course, you don't have complete control of that because groundwater leaks in from wherever nearby, but it's a lot more uh, controllable if it's actual your own well instead of city water with whatever they added to it. And of course, it's yours so you can use it as much as you need for your animals and gardening and whatever and not have to feel the strain of an extra bill from your water department. Okay, number three is septic. I included septic because many times regulations within your city limits change, causing you to have to pay larger fees for different things that you're not even using. So having control of this also gives you more choices. Maybe you don't want to have a septic. Maybe you're just a, maybe a small cup and maybe you just want to have a compost toilet and recycle all your wastewater in the garden or whatever. So that's up to you, but having the option is great. So if you can have your own septic and not have to be on the sewer, that's awesome. So go ahead and try for that when you're looking for a homestead. Number four, of course, you need food. So how big is your family that you're going to be supporting on this homestead? You might want to think about a family of four probably needs a minimum of an acre of farmable land that you can maybe grow garden on or have some chickens or whatever. 
But you can think about that, how adventurous you want to be. Maybe you don't want to do your own slaughtering and that's just too much for you. So you want to just grow vegetables, fine. Maybe you want to do fruit, have a fruit orchard. That takes some space. So go ahead and go through your options of what you want to do and what you can do. And of course that'll decide and help you decide how much land you need for your homestead. Okay, number five is to own your own power. This is a very versatile option, but owning your own power is definitely something you want to try to strive for. This is a great one because uh, power bills are very fluctuating and depending on the society, they can go skyrocketing or they can go low, but it just depends. So if you like being subjected to the mercy of the power company, then don't bother with this step. But usually most homesteaders would like to have control of the power situation. So so definitely look into some power options for you. Maybe if you haven't bought in a land, you might get a land with a, a small stream on it and you might think about using it for harnessing some water power that you can use to supplement on your farm or your homestead. Or maybe you might buy a place that gets a lot of wind You can try wind farming or solar might be good if you're looking for a solar option or you might even just have no power at all and go for the oil lamps and ice box whatever works for you but uh, having the option and the choices worked out so you know who's going to be in control of your power where's your power coming from is a great freedom and it helps you a lot to plan out your homestead where you want to buy and what the things you need to have on it to make it work. When we were buying our homestead, what we mostly were looking for was the land. Do we have land that we can use for farming or for animals? And also, does it have a outbuilding, some kind of a barn, which was a very big plus. We weren't really concerned about how pretty the house was or any of that, but we wanted the land to be what it could be for what we needed. So, like, we decided to put some solar on there. Well, they definitely have to be in an area that could get solar power. Not all areas get a great amount of sun, so you might think about that if you're thinking about doing solar or what kind of land that you're looking at. Also, when you're looking for land, you should probably plan on being out of the city limits because usually a good deal and a good land is not usually within the city limits. So. Don't be scared to live a bit further from town, but also take in the considerations you need. Maybe you need a school for your kids or you're going to college, so you might need to be closer to town. So think about all those options when you're deciding what you should have for your homestead. Okay, I think we covered it all. So those are the five things that every homestead must have. Number one, your own land. Number two, your own water. Three, your own septic. Four, of course, your own food. And number five, your own power. So I hope that helps all of you out there trying to decide on how to get your homestead going. And if you have any more that you think I should have added to this list, go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear them. And please subscribe and like this video.